Welcome back to the video everyone. In this one, we'll be seeing how to convert multiple activity based app to a single activity multiple fragments. Here in this project, we have declared two activities, one main activity and another activity and have added both of them to manifest. In main activity, we got layout binding, then different data types, string, integer, boolean, a list of string and a list of an object. Here named data, a data class with an ID and value in it. We'll be using these different data to show how to send different types of data between two fragments. In this layout, we just have a button here and this button have a listener, click listener, which will trigger an indent to another activity. And in another activity, we are just setting values we are receiving from main activity. And for another activities layout, there are different test views to display the data we are receiving from main activity. Now let's see how to refactor from multiple activities to single activity, multiple fragments. We will make use of Jetpack navigation component. First, we need to add dependencies. Let's grab latest dependency. Once after adding dependencies, hit sync now. Let's create a package and call it fragment just to make it easier for us to manage our fragments we'll be creating. Now create fragments for each activity we are converting. Let's call first one main fragment, then the other one and the fragment. Here extend fragment. We'll be passing layout ID in fragment constructor. Create layouts for both main fragment and another fragment. Okay, I could have named a better name for that. Just copy everything from activity layout to fragment layout. Now we have layouts, so let's pass our layout IDs to the fragment constructor. Now we'll set up binding for fragment. Okay, the reason I'm setting global binding variable to null on destroy view is that the variable can stay and cause memory leak. Uh, you might have noticed in activity we didn't set it to null because it will get destroyed when activity is destroyed unlike on fragments. Now do the same in another fragment. We are done with our layouts and Kotlin code. Set up navigation graph. So uh, right click and select Android resource file. Select type resource type to navigation and name it to nav graph. Now in navigation graph we created, click add destination button and add our fragments to the graph. We can preview layout by adding tools, layout, and layout ID. Just click and drag from starting to destination fragment, here main fragment to another fragment. Now go back to Kotlin code, copy logic from activities to fragment. Here we got just a click listener and set data. 
but in a real project there might be things we should be keeping in main activity itself for example if you are setting up a bottom navigation bar we will have to link navigation controller to bottom navigation we will just keep variables, we will be using them to demonstrate how to send data between fragments here and uh, we will remove the indent because we, are, we will be using nav controller for fragment navigation. So type in find nav controller dot navigate. Uh, this can take different type of parameter but we are using directions so type in main fragment directions dot here in solutions we will have all our navigation directions we declared in nav graph here we just got action main fragment to another fragment now copy logic from another activity to another fragment here we are just setting data received from previous fragment okay we will just comment this now and fix it later as we have copied everything from activity, we don't need another activity anymore, so delete it. Now we need to set up fragment container view in main activity layer. This is where our fragments will be shown. We can search for now and just click and drag now holds fragment and it will create fragment container view for us. Here select the graph we created earlier that is new graph. Okay now it works we need to figure out how to send data from main fragment to another fragment and display it here. Let's go back to now graph, select our destination fragment that is another fragment and click add arguments. Here we can see the different types of data types we can add. So we'll be adding them one by one. So in fragment we can see we have a list of string but we can't send that as a list here so we will select arrays and we will convert this list to arrays when we send them. For the list of objects select custom possible because the data class is extending possible and by using Kotlin parcelize annotation we don't have to implement anything ourselves. Now back in our main fragment, navigation directions are angry, it's showing that, which means we have to pass in data as arguments here. String in bool list data list. We need to convert list and data list to array. We will call dot to type array. Oh record is not an array. Oh, we will have to update it in a graph. That's pretty much here in main fragment. Now in under fragment, we need to get data we are sending from here and update those test views. Private while args by now args pass in another fragment args. Okay, on this variable, we will get all data we are sending from any fragment to this fragment. Now let's set text for each test view. For arrays, we are converting them back to list. Now let's run it. Okay, it works. We can see the data we are sending from here in another fragment. This is how to refactor or convert multiple activities based app to single activity multiple fragment. 
If you learned something from this video, consider subscribing. I know I need to make my way of explaining better. It will get better with time. Thanks for watching.